Ah, uh, straight away, uh, underway New Zealand, so that's a positive start. It's leg buys only, not from the bat of Brendan McCullum. Ah! Down the wicket, through the covers, four runs. Those rigor. the reply absolute well that is just awful from Peter Ingram I've got to say it really was Tate got it right Ingram got it wrong New Zealand lose their first oh McCullum goes over extra cover that'll be six the first one of the innings right out of the middle of the bat Nana's has got it wrong and McCullum was onto it McCullum. oh it goes leg side that is beautiful Who goes over third man and into the boundary for four. Take before the start of the innings, and he said he's looking forward to the hard wicket, but he said the run ups were a bit soft, so that's perhaps why he's slightly down in pace. Still bowling 150, mind you, but there's a beautiful shot by Martin Guptill, straight back down past Sean Tate for four. So that. And he continues, and that's clipped away beautifully as well. He just cannot quite get it right here. Dirk Nanez, he's trying to bowl one side of the wicket, he's trying to bowl outside off stump and succeeding, but McCullum is just turning him away. Short pulled, that might beat the fieldsman, it does, it does, a great effort, out on the boundary. Oh, goes down the ground, Guptill boy, he's hit that sweetly, really sweetly over Midoff's head. Brilliant, see, he's, that's brilliant, that's Brennan McCullum. Don't try it at home, folks. Absolutely, kids, don't try this one at home because you'll be at the dentist tomorrow morning. And then that's what happens in the end. That's massive! Oh my God, that's the biggest hit here in the new AMI stand. By a mile. Lessons learned all around. Well, this is uh, down the ground, should be out, will be out, yeah. Smith. He's a brilliant fielder. He didn't have to do much there. Guptill just half hit it, really, and paid the price. In numbers game so far. He's done much, much better there behind point. And he'll get four for that. So better finish to the over, but Australia are fighting back here. Just what happens when a wicket falls. Run out. Taylor won't get back. Oh, I think he's gone. Yeah, he's walking off, he's furious again. This time uh, he's more looking at Brendan McCullum than anyone else. McCull Foot toss from Smith. Franklin bangs down the ground for four. Much needed. Much needed boundary for New Zealand. Beautiful shot from Franklin. New Zealand need to find some momentum quickly, don't they? Yay! Well, they do, Mac. But they've just lost James Franklin. So Smith has picked up the wicket. He's got to go over mid-wicket. He's going to need to find a partnership. Oh, Hopkins is underway with a boundary. Finds the gap. There's a full toss. And he's put it away. First ball. He's six and over. Cut away. And that is the strength of Gareth Hopkins. It is exactly where he loves to play the ball. Both sides of the wicket behind point. Big appeal. That's leg buys. It'll be a couple at least. It'll be, oh, it'll be four. It's gone away. Very fine for four. I didn't think that was a bad shout, Macca. We'll need to have another look at it. But geez. Oh. Straight and hard. Boy, that's a good shot. The ball to Hopkins. Last ball. On to uh, Brendan McCullum. Looked like a flipper, but that's a terrific shot as well. Oh, this might be four. Might go away for four. Oh, unlucky for the Australians. He did all the hard work, but couldn't quite pull it off. And Brendan McCullum has picked up a half century. Clinton. Oh, what about that? You cannot defend it. Go short now, and that's into the grandstand. Into the Deans stand for half a dozen. What? Hopkins goes leg side this time, and that is six more, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, gets it away. Don't worry about the battle. Hopkins.
Jones is here, he's up for it. Jones again, McCullough, has gone all the way? No. One bounce. One bounce for four. For Australia. Oh, it is Hopkins going, that's high, and that is far and long, and that is into the grandstand. Boy, another six for Gareth Hopkins, he has got it right tonight, the little fella. He's out anyway, Hoppy. He's uh, fallen on his stumps, I think. He's out. He's. He's. Uh, I thought I heard something. It went for four, but he's actually walked on his stumps in the process. Can anything else happen? Can he do it? That's the key. Now, where's this gone here? That's high up into the stand. Again, McCullum just reels off yet another one. It's the highest score for a New Zealander in 2020 cricket. That's six more. That's beautifully timed. He absolutely pummeled that. Here is Tate. Oh, brilliant again. Oh, that's magnificent. Almost six. My God, it only went 20 feet off the ground. Warren's got to get bat on ball here. Oh, it's gone. Absolutely gone, Jacob Warren. That's six. Oh, boy, that's a trace of bullet into the stand there. Hang on. Didn't get the timing, it was there to hit. They might get two, he might get four! Oh, it's raced away from Cameron White. That is a bonus, because he didn't hit that at all. Well, he knows it. Oh, it's going to go down the ground for four. He's going to miss out on the fastest hundred, but he goes to 99. They're loving it everywhere. Yes, what a hundred! What a hundred that is! Just stay there. You don't often see that degree of animation out of Brendan McCullum after everything that happened, after they waited so long for Australia to come to these shores. The oh, this could be six! It is six! It's 15 yards over the top! Oh, and again, that's going to be six more. It's even bigger! It's even bigger! Six. That's a wonderful strike by the brother this time. And they won't sit down till Brennan McCullum's back in the hunt. Over the top of cover for four more. Yes, one bounce four. And let's just stay with Brennan McCullum because they will stand as one for him tonight. Just brilliant. The Australians come to him too as a man to congratulate him on what is just absolutely fantastic. One day. That's the equation for Australia. They need to get 215 and their 20 overs at 10.75. If you get them, Australia, good luck. You'll have really thrilled the house and those sitting at home. We'll see you back shortly. Open for New Zealand. Yes. And a story of Australia in the past. Shane Bond, nice stroke down the ground. That'll be four. From New Zealand. Got it, got it straight and got it beautifully too. Look at that, David Warner. Length. That's too much length. That's too much length. And it goes for four. It was testing. Oh, he's got that again. He's missed his length and he's been put away once more. Oh, he's a dangerous player, David Warner. Oh, straight again. This is lovely stuff. It really is good stuff to bat. Gosh, he's got some class. New Zealand can pull off a victory. High, high. They're going back. This is a chance. It'll be a tough catch. It's a biggie. It's a beauty. Tim Southey, the young man with a cool, calm head. And Shane Bond has made a vital breakthrough. He's got that one out of the screws. Really has. It's a good way to start. Nicely worked, and that may well go to through to the fence. It does. Geez, a great timer of the ball, Michael Clark. That's six. And a big one to boot. A monster. Took the pace off that, Jacob Oren, but Michael Clark put it back in. Oh, how did he not chop that on? It's going to race away for four, is it? Yes, it will. Oh, but chopped it on the leg stump. Well. 
Oh, that's sweetly timed. Big six. Into the noisy part of the crowd. Nicely bold, but it's been beautifully worked. Gee, that's clever batting. Brad Haddon at his very best. Great job. Oh. Well, he can now because that will be six. Well and truly over the boundary. It was a good effort from Martin Guptill. He's just about taken out one of the cameras. It's this period of five overs. Oh, that's flat. Should be out. Will be out. Very well taken, Peter Ingram. What a good catch. It was low, just inches off the ground. Clark goes. He goes over mid-wicket. Does he get it far enough? Yes, he does. Just four, though. One bouncing into the fence. Oh, this time that'll be half a dozen straight down the ground. A very, very good shot from the Aussie skipper. Side edge, a little bit of luck, but perhaps he deserves it. He's gone away for four, trying to cut down that boundary, and there's another very good shot through extra cover. That is David Hussey's area. Franklin misses with his area. Hey! Well, that was a slow ball from James Franklin. Hussey went to swing it away on the leg side. He looked like he was on again, but we're, we're in a pretty good position here then. Oh no. Well, well that certainly helps. A great shot by Cameron White. Six over extra cover. Yeah. One of the keys for Australia has got to try and remain there. Oh, what a shot. What a shot that is. Boy, that is superb timing. The Tory tried to go in at the leg stump. He's a powerful man. Oh, straight back down the ground. One bounce, four. Bad delivery, got punished. Either way. Oh, I think that's big enough for six. That's huge from Cameron White. Stand and deliver and pummel. Oh, just never timed it really, but that was a free hit. Big over for the Aussies. Approach this. Oh, that is massive. Short arm jab. I'm not sure why he went over the wicket and looked to go pitch it on. Oh, that's gone. One bounce, four over cover. Magnificent shot. Straight down the ground, it'll be a four. He pierces the gap. So, big one there, Borum just getting the length wrong. I think. Again, straight down the ground. Straight again for four. Back-to-back -back full tosses, back-to-back -back boundaries. Pure pick. And one of these last two balls, New Zealand in big trouble. And that is big. How big? That's six. He's pounded it down the ground, and Oram's copping a hiding here. Down the ground again. Tracer bullet for four. Oh, so strong. That's what they'll be looking for. Now they're going to have to run. Cut it off. Yes, brilliant. Three, Michael Clark's got to come back. It's going to be a tie. Sally gets him off. It's a tie. It's unbelievable. What a finish. Oh, my goodness, Tim Southey. What a hero. A super over. Straight down the ground, and they'll just get the one. This morning, it's going to be express and get back. Could he be run out? No, he's sharp enough. the single. Tim Southey. Man, he's bowling a season's worth here. Go on strike. Oh, Southey. He doesn't have to throw it. That's fine. That's big. How big? It's going to be caught. It's going to be taken. Not big enough. Nathan McCullum. That's Tim Southey again too. Oh, my word. He runs him out, that would be the end of the innings, he didn't try. Super over. And that'll only be one. They'll run again, and Mo as well. Hopkins will go, it's hit the batsman. He run the line of the throw, he's perfectly legal. You can do that, Brad Haddon. Protect the wickets you're running towards. McCullum. Gets it behind point. It's gonna have to scamper, that might have been close. Remember, Australia get two wickets, they win.
What can he come up with here? That was whitish too. That might have pushed the boundaries. Clark again misses. Another run out opportunity. There we go. Gaffney calls it a wide. And they run one as well. McCullen put pressure on by taking the shot on from four balls now. He gets it over the top away. New Zealand have won behind point. It's a ripper from Gupto. Tate couldn't handle it. Too much width, too much pressure. And New Zealand, well, they had it won once. They let it go and they've won it again. What a day. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that in that situation it would have been the Australians to get it completely wrong, to fold, to buckle under the pressure. New Zealand have bounced back from that first game. Well, everyone, the pundits, the media, the fans were saying, well, they're just not in the class of Australia. Well, they've turned up here in Christchurch along with the crowd.